Hey everyone, I know we've been talking about using PHP Documenter, and I wanted to show you a Vim plugin that I absolutely love. It's called PHP-Doc. So here I am in a class file, and depending on where you're at in the file, it does different things. So at the beginning of a class, if I hit Control P, it automatically puts in a, a bunch of information based on what it can figure out. And I also have it set to automatically include author, copyright, license, other information uh, and by reading the PHP documenter documentation you'll see that the first line is a kind of a brief description and then you can add more detailed and you can see it automatically adding all the stars in front of the comment as I hit enter which is really nice so that's an example now I go down to my class attributes and if I were to hit control P say in front of this logger module. It um, tells me that it's a string variable, it's access is public, and um, we can put in some sort of comment of why we need this variable uh, used by the logger. So we just as a quick example. And then when you go to a method, again control P quickly automatically puts in access as public return is void because there is no return statement if there is one it tries to figure out what it is so I'm just gonna put this is the importing starting point and if I wanted to put in some more detailed information come down here to this method again because I've got parameters down here in this function that automatically has figured them out puts them in there access and again I'm not returning anything so it doesn't know what to do but we can sp my summary is maps assets to categories and tags details here and I can change this I know it's really uh, an array actually I lied it's a string and it's the, the feed name from their media server and that's another string I'm not exactly sure that's all good because I'm doing this real quick, but the whole point is following the documentation of PHP Documenter. Uh, this gives you the initial layout, and then we can build upon it and make it that much better. Okay, if there were if there were a return statement, it would try and again figure out what that was, and we could expand on the documentation here. It's a great little plugin uh, if you want to see it or try and grab it. It's in my directory, in my .vim directory, in the plugins directory, and it's called php-doc.vim, or you can just find it online and download it. You also have to look in my .vimrc to do the mapping to Control-P. If you need any help, just let me know.